that's Halloween heartthrob. But ignore my gross hair. Um, I'm gonna work out later tonight. I showered, but I didn't wash my hair because there'd be no point because I'm gonna get it gross again. So today, um, I... Where is it? So today I wanted to do another tag video because I have been working here and there on my doll stuff, but not enough to do like proper update uh, or even like a custom or anything like that. I haven't I haven't had time to do that. So I wanted to do a tag, the superhero tag, I believe it is, and it's made by Otsuko. I believe is her name. I'll have her link down below, but I found it. I found the tag through Gina. Um, I watch like a lot of Gina's videos. I never comment, which I should, because I watch her videos a lot. Gina, if you're watching this, hello. And also, Otsaku? Otsaku? Let's get started. There's 10 questions. Number one, Iron Man. What's your favorite well-known doll company? Uh, probably Granado. Um, it used to be Doll Chateau, um, cause I like their intricate dolls, but moving over to like, like really figuring out what dolls I like, probably Granado. <laughs> Number two, Spider-Man. Your spidey senses are always tingling. What is the sculpt you always know, you always just know no matter how it's styled? I don't know the name, but I can recognize the face. Uh, Sighthound Lady has a couple of them, and I'll, I'll post a picture of what her dolls look like but anybody who has that doll I know that sculpt because it's very beautiful and it's really easy to tell. I wish I knew sculpt names. How do you guys do it? Literally how do you know like right off the bat the name? Like it takes me a good couple of seconds to remember theirs. Uh, but they're also pretty simple too so. Number three, Batman and Robin. Out of your dolls who is your favorite doll dolly duo? Um it was Shizuka and Tadashi, but I think it's more becoming Bear and Draco because Draco is kind of a kind of a jerk um, in a sense. He's very sassy and he he's like the aggressive character, like the the Sundere type, if I can say it like that. Something something where he's like, I like you, but I hate you, man. So yeah. Um, number four, Superman. What is your dolly kryptonite? <sighs> elves. It's, it's just elves. I want to give all of them elf ears, but I don't. And that's probably why elves are one of the main characters in my story. <laughs> um, so elf ears. I love it when dolls have elf ears or pointy ears. Number five, Aquaman. What's your favorite fantasy sculpt? I I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite fantasy sculpt. I I don't really look at a lot of fantasy sculpts. Surprisingly enough is because um I'm really into like into it. I I can't remember what it was, but it was a couple of years back. Um I can't remember the doll company or what doll it was, but it was beautiful and I'm sure you guys might know like the dolly people who've been in the hobby for a long time. There was a company that did a really, really big, uh, like, sale or something, and it was of, like, part centaur. So it was like a centaur doll, and the doll was huge. It was like an SD-sized centaur doll, and, like, tons of people bought it, and, like, that's all anybody wanted to talk about. I th think Miss Kitty Blue has one. I'm not 100% sure. But that's probably my favorite one. Um, I'm not a huge, like, horse person, but centaurs are really cool. Um, and that doll was massive and beautiful. If I can find a picture, I'll post it, but I probably can't because I don't know anything about it. Number six, Captain America. A dolly injustice that may have happened to you. Thankfully, I have not had any problems uh, with my dolls or people, like, selling like buying or selling or anything with dolls um any commissions I have of people asking me um to like commission stuff for their dolls uh has been you know really wonderful which I'm really happy and I think it's weird that more people ask me directly for commissions instead of 
going through my eBay, but, er, not my eBay, uh, my Etsy. Oh well. Um, so luckily I haven't had any injustice, but, you know, knock on wood. Uh, number seven, Thor. Who is your heaviest doll? Bear, 110%. He's like the size of a toddler. He's huge. <laughs> number eight, Wonder Woman. What is your favorite female sculpt? It's probably the Doll Chateau's K-Body, I believe it's called. It's on my um, Den of Angels like wish list to have. That was one of the dolls I really, really wanted. Um, it's the one where she's really skinny and has like a bird head and there's another one, I think. I think there's like two versions. There's a boy and a girl and I really like the girl. However, um, Sighthound Lady has gotten dolls and her doll sculpts are beautiful. They have like really thick legs. For some reason that's really pretty to me so it might be changing. <laughs> um, I seem to like dolls with with more hips and like thicker legs for some reason nowadays. Number nine, Black Widow. Your most bad bad butt female. Surpri as much as I love strong women, the only character I have in my story is not a doll yet. Um, so she's a character that doesn't exist and I don't want to talk about her until I get that story fleshed out. So my favorite bed but female doesn't exist yet. Um, surprisingly I don't have any more like females like that. Most of them are very sweet and nice and like mom-like. I don't know. Um, and number 10, Wolverine. Have you ever scratched a doll? Unfortunately, yes. Um, <coughs> uh, Tadashi, mostly, um, because I use him a lot for, like, making doll clothes, uh, especially recently, but I, I get the most commissions for him, and some of the stuff that I have is made for, uh, his body type or size, so with me moving him around a lot, he, he actually has a couple of excuse me, scratches on his face and on his ears uh, of his paint being scratched off, so I need to give him a, fa a new face up. But yeah, yeah I have unfortunately, so yeah. So that was my video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out my Patreon Etsy. Um, I'll be doing more with Patreon soon. I just haven't had the time or ability to post as much as I want. Um, I've been mostly just posting like updates uh, every once in a while I'll give the tip jar tier or like the beautiful people tier um, some updates of like secret projects I'm working on, stuff that I don't want to show you guys. Um, and most of the stuff is like for five and up, um, but I'm trying to make it so people in the one dollar tier get pictures once in a while. Um, but I want to start doing uh, animation stuff for Patreon. but. That'll be talked about on Friday's video. Please, if you watch my channel, don't miss Friday's video. I have support and updates, um, but that'll be said in Friday's video. So yeah, check out all my social media and all that, and the links will be down below, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!